Welcome to the training video on the basics of proper sample preparation for BDMAX Checkpoint CPO assay performed on the BDMAX system. The BDMAX system offers you a simplified and automated workflow, allowing you to run up to 24 samples at a time with less than one and a half minutes hands-on time per sample. The BDMAX Checkpoint CPO assay can provide results for 24 samples in approximately two and a half hours. The BDMAX Checkpoint CPO assay detects the most common carbapenemase genes in gram-negative bacteria, KPC, NDM, VIM, IMP, and OXA48. For additional instructions and information, Always refer to the BDMAX System User's Manual and the assay-specific instructions for use. Let's get started. BDMAX Checkpoint CPO assay performed on the BDMAX system requires a rectal swab specimen to be collected and transported to the laboratory using the e-swab recommended in the instructions for use. An aliquot of Vortex rectal e-swab media is placed in a BDMAX Checkpoint CPO assay sample buffer tube. The sample buffer tube is once again vortexed, and the tube is then placed into the BDMAX system rack. The BDMAX system is loaded with BDMAX racks containing prepared sample buffer tubes, assembled unitized reagent strips, and PCR cartridges. The BDMAX system automates sample extraction, nucleic acid amplification, and detection of the target nucleic acid using real-time polymerase chain reaction, PCR. For a full list of equipment and materials required but not provided, please refer to the instructions for use. The performance and accuracy of BDMAX assays require that specimens and components are stored in a safe and stable environment. Here's how to prepare the specimen. First, label each assay specific sample buffer tube with the appropriate patient ID. Be careful not to obscure, write, or label over the 2D barcode. Second step, vortex the rectal swab specimen in liquid Amy's transport medium at low speed for five seconds. Third step, remove the cap from the sample buffer tube and pipette 50 microliters of the liquid Amy's transport medium into the sample buffer tube. Fourth step, recap the inoculated sample buffer tube using a septum cap and vortex at low speed for 10 seconds. Fifth step, Place the sample buffer tube in a suitable rack. Prepare any additional specimens by repeating steps one through five for the remaining specimens, ensuring gloves are clean prior to handling additional specimens. Now proceed to the BDMAX system operations section in the assay specific instructions for use to perform testing on the BDMAX system. We hope this program has helped familiarize you with proper specimen preparation of the BDMAX Checkpoint CPO assay on the BDMAX system. If you have any additional questions, please consult the instructions for use, user's manuals, or your BD representative.